Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel here at Fully Collectible and today we've got something really really cool and something I haven't tried yet this year. We have Footy Stars 2024 starter packs. So I bought a case of starter packs, you get 20 in a case. I'm going to break this in half because I think it's going to be a bit of a long video. Uh, so I'm going to do 10 in this video, 10 in the next one and we're going to see if we can hit big in starter packs so you get everything you do in retail you just don't get the hobby hits jeez harry sheasel and that would be damn nice you can get a myriad myriad sig um yeah plenty to find that's for sure so we'll get stuck in try not to waste too much time hopefully these oh so much easier than last year that will definitely save some time. Bad. I also put fresh batteries in my display case. And the lights are just so much brighter. <laughs> it actually looks like the lights are on. Couldn't say that for the last few videos I filmed. I'd kind of been meaning to do it and I was putting it off. You can actually see what the cards are now. That's awesome. Alright, first starter pack. Here's our luminous base card. I thought the card you were supposed to get in the starter packs was actually one of these, just in a variation. Or maybe you... they wouldn't put these ones sitting in between. All right, well, we'll learn as we go. Darcy Moore Luminous Base. I'm going to try and rip one. If it doesn't rip nicely, nope. I'm not damaging my thumbnails. I've learned my lesson after ripping four boxes of footy stars in one day. Alright, so... Footy heads to start with. Patrick Cripps. And Luminous Base. I'm hoping this will save a bit of time in the long run. Stats Kings, Michael Walters, small forward. This is one of the sets I really love in retail. I think it looks really, really good. So good it should be short printed, but that's okay. It's still a beautiful card. And Michael Frederick, Frio Pack. Frio looking the goods so far. I wish they didn't look the goods quite so well on the weekend. It's kind of heartbreaking. We were looking good up to half time. These are already kind of, they're already sticking. There we go. Future Force, Samson Ryan. There's a little dimple on that card. And Elijah Hewitt, Luminous Base. All right, next starter pack. That was, um, okay. No number six though. We want to see numbered. We want to see numbered. Ah, so you can get them. Billy Frampton, Thunderbolt. 191 of 599. So a couple of Collingwood hits. In the pack bonus. Just a base pack, Marcus Bontempelli. Does he win the Brownlow this year? Bont. Probably stiff last year. Lots of people thought Lockie Neal didn't win it, but it was a weird count all around. 
I think. Another base pack, Matt Rowell. And my stack of base cards is already toppling over. It's going to be quite tall by the end. Probably should have washed that pen off. A red pen does kind of make it look like a bit of a rush. Just making notes at work. And really sticking. Footy heads, Tom Green. Also a very good shot for the Brownlow. Wanganee Miller up in the base. All right. So a numbered card, but that was out of the, the bonus. So starter pack starting quiet. Oh my God. I didn't think they would actually put one of those in there. It looks navy and gold, so I'm thinking it's Geelong. Maybe West Coast. Boom! Elijah Hewitt. 159 of 199. So what are these ones called again? There's so many luminous. The superstars. Luminous superstars. I didn't think they would put like one of these big ones in the middle of the packs, but they do have that clear coating so you can peel it. So any surface scratches that you kind of see there are not going to be on the card, They're just going to be on that clear coat. This is my first time seeing one of these. I did not hit one of these in my four boxes. These are nice. I would definitely take a sheasel in one of these. Thank you. All right. For some reason, I thought they were slightly shorter printed as well. Like I didn't, I thought they were less than a hundred. And I was obviously wrong, but that is still a very nice hit. Milestone. First milestone, Zach Bailey. Isaac Heaney. Sydney also looking the goods this year. I don't know why I got a soft spot for the Bloods. Absolutely no clue why. Come on, unstick, unstick. There we go. Footy heads, Jack Steele, Jack Viney, Luminous Base. I'm not expecting to hit anything significant from these three packs, given we got a Luminous Superstars from the middle. Yeah, just a basey. Max Holmes for the cats. All right, next one. This is also blue and yellow, but I think it's just a base. Yep, just a bit. And Elijah Hewitt again. Elijah Hewitt everywhere. I seem to attract his cards. I pulled a lot of eagles out of my last hobby box. I think it was three Thunderbolts for all eagles. All right, Refractor. Give me a kangaroo. Nope. Again. So this is my second Taylor Walker Refractor. Ooh, 20 of 299. That's the lowest one I've seen so far. 
So no complaints here. Texans off to a little bit of a slow start, but he'll find his gears. That's Kings, Jai Coldwell. It's the tackles. I love that green. I don't know how that kind of looks in the camera. It's kind of more of a teal green, kind of like an emerald, I suppose. It kind of looks a bit more yellow, sort of lime in the light of the camera. And Carl Amon. Just a footy head, Will Day, and Charlie Kerno. All right, we've got, we've got three left on that side. All right, six left. All right, just a basie. Is this Eagles again? My God. Dom Sheed. Cannot stop these guys finding me. All right, so it's just a base one in there. So hopefully one of these packs has something nice for us. I would love a myriad. I haven't seen one of those yet. That's blue and yellow again, man. And these are just really, really sticking. There we go. Milestone. Mason Cox, you made it to 100. Well done. You love him or you hate him, I think. Jack Darling in the base. And I think that's a footy head. Yep. Bobby Hill. Reigning Norm Smith medalist. And Dacos. Eyes, man. Major hangover. But they're too good a team to not start winning games. That's, that's just facts with Collingwood every single year. Unfortunately. And just a base one again. So if somebody bought that starter pack, that would have every right to be a little bit miffed. Alex Pierce base. All right, refractor. Nope, just a base. Max Holmes again. Pretty sure we've already got that one. Bit of a cold streak. Of course, it's possible to hit all the predictors in this, the gold version of the predictors. Base Joey Danaher. Myriads, Myriad 6. I assume the retail Luminous and Luminous Sigs you'd be able to find in here as well. So, still plenty to hope for. Footy heads, Caleb's are wrong. He started the year very strong. Callan Ward. We'll see him halfway through the year, unfortunately. Unfortunate shoulder injury. 
that was that was another starter pack that was pretty meh. This this has got to stop. Elliot Yo. You guys need to leave me alone. Okay, let my North Melbourne guys stalk me for a little while, please. I reckon I could nearly complete the set for somebody. Honestly. If I hadn't just moved them all on. So I'll probably have to hit that guy up and say, hey, got some more. Milestones. Harry Mackay. Jaden Short. You. Are you just a stats king? Yes, I believe you are. Mitch Lewis. Key forward. Purple. Very, very nice. And Tim English in the base. Give these guys a bit of room. And footy head, Bailey Humphrey, and Darcy Fogarty in the base. It's crazy that the biggest hit so far has just come from the loose card in the middle, because the packs have been ordinary. Ah, oh, someone other than a West Coast player. Things are looking up. 415 of 599. I hang a bit of crap on West Coast because I am from Western Australia. I grew up as a West Coast supporter. Chad Warner defected in my teenage years and jumped over to North Melbourne. Like, you can't make it up. Tom Barras, intercept marks. Nice gold one. <sighs> well, apparently I spoke too soon. And I'm just going to be haunted by West Coast until the day I die. Woody Head, Tom Papley, and Mark Blitzarves. All right, two to go. I'm hoping the second half of this case is just absolutely elite. Hayden McLean, for the Thunderbolt, for the Sydney Swans. 389 of I mean, someone's got to be having a laugh with me. 169 of 599 on the Luke Edwards. I'm going to separate all those at the end so we can just see how many West Coast hits we've got. Because, damn. 
there's a lot. And I'm glad I split this case in half too. I think that was the right call to make. Base Sam Taylor. Just average, average, average. I mean, it's Cam Zoha. And Bont and Pelling. Second half better be bringing some heat if there's no heat in here. Okay, that's not bad. Lucky nil. Thunderbolt. Low number. Of course not. 529 of. 599 on the Lucky Neil. I would say absolutely no chance of the brown low this year. Looking like he might miss for a while. Who knows? So you want round three? Ooh, okay, refractor. North, 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 north. Darcy Parrish. At least it's a good player. 287 of 299 on the Parrish. And Lucky Keith Milestone. Charlie Ballard, intercept marks. And Matt Rowell in the base. Last pack. Nope, just a footy head. Archie Perkins and another Wanganeen Miller. Okay, let's do a West Coast Eagles recap, shall we? <clears throat> so, Gold Coast, Essendon, Brisbane, West Coast, Sydney, Thunderbolt, West Coast, Geelong, Thunderbolt. Uh, Hawthorne Stats Kings, Eagles, Thunderbolt, Stats Kings, Jai Coldwell, Taylor Walker, Refractor, Eagles, Superstars, that's a nice hit, that's a nice hit, would have loved for that to have been a North Melbourne player, uh, Billy Frampton, Thunderbolt, Future Force, I only got one Future Force, uh, Samson Ryan, and Michael Wolfers, Stats Kings. So those plus the million West Coast base cards that we pulled as well. <sighs> Make it stop. All right. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. I really, really appreciate your time. Uh, this was just the first half of the starter case. Pa uh, part two will be coming soon. I'm not sure when I'm going to be uploading that one. Um, I've got a heap of content that I'm currently breaking filming. So I'm just trying to space out my content a little bit. So it might be a week or two until you see part two. Not sure. I'm hoping part two of that case is just going to be absolute fire because that's a nice hit, but come on. I would have thought I would have seen more. Anyway, um, if you want to see that, then please consider subscribing. Um, don't have to turn the notifications on if you don't want to. Uh, drop a like, a comment. It really, really helps with visibility. I really, really appreciate it. Links to my Instagram are in the description box as well. I've got tons and tons of football videos on my channel. I've got playlists just for it. So feel free to go back and check some of those out. And yeah, thank you very much for your time, guys. We'll see you in the next one.